This past April, Macaulay Culkin and his girlfriend Brenda Song became the proud parents of a healthy baby boy named Dakota. The couple originally met on set of a movie they were filming in Thailand called Changeland, which was directed by Culkin's good friend Seth Green. After immediately falling for one another, Macaulay and Brenda decided that the next step in their relationship would be to move in together. To do just that, they found themselves a killer home in the Hollywood Hills that Culkin has teased is decorated in about as minimalist a style as you could possibly imagine. But I have a feeling that's not actually Macaulay's home. Anyways, in this video, we're going to take a look at where the actor is living. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. After spending a fair chunk of the last decade living in a Paris apartment, Macaulay Culkin decided it was time to move back home upon falling in love with actress Brenda Song. The first real hint that Macaulay and Brenda were getting serious about one another took place in 2018. That's when Macaulay appeared on an episode of the Joe Rogan Experience and revealed that he and Brenda, while well, they were trying to have a baby. Carrying on with the conversation, Culkin explained to Rogan exactly what makes his family so special before revealing that he and Brenda would soon be looking for a place together. I have a pretty little family, a pretty girl, a pretty dog, a pretty cat, and all that stuff. We're gonna move. We're doing the house thing and all that kind of stuff. Soon after this interview, media outlets picked up on a story of Macaulay and Brenda house hunting in the area of Los Angeles known as Studio City. The home they were looking at was reported to have five bedrooms and six bathrooms with more than 3,400 square feet of space. Designed as a modern farmhouse, the property also included recently installed oak hardwood floors, Thermidor kitchen appliances, and massive floor-to-ceiling windows designed to show off some spectacular views. All of that for the low, low sum of just $2.4 million. So did they take it? Well, that's hard to suss out for sure, but my best guess is no. They didn't. Instead, Macaulay and Brenda managed to find another home located in the nearby neighborhood of Hollywood Hills, and they did a much better job of keeping this one on the down low because not a single media outlet picked up on the sale. The best description we have of the Culkin home comes from the folks at Esquire, who once visited the residence to interview the former child actor. Going by their account, Macaulay and Brenda live a charmed life, one where they spend most of the day in their matching pajamas. Macaulay takes care of all the outdoor work, you know, like painting a totally unnecessary but still no doubt very cool yellow brick road that leads directly up to their front door, while Brenda, she likes to spend her free time baking different types of bread. Long before their family expanded with a little mini-me of their own, they were parents to their fur babies, which includes three cats, a few fish, and an adorable Shiba Inu puppy. Last April, they bumped their clan up by one more after the birth of Dakota Song Culkin, their beautiful baby boy who's been named in honor of Macaulay's sister Dakota, who died in a tragic car accident in 2008. Outside of these details, the only other hints we have of the place have popped up randomly on Instagram, where Culkin has shown off a games room that definitely looks like it belongs inside the home of, say, Kevin McAllister more than it does a grown man, but who am I to judge? At the very least, the kitchen seems to be more or less what you'd expect with some top-of-the-line appliances and seamless invisible storage spaces. But once again, Macaulay just seems way more interested in playing games than, you know, adulting. At the beginning of the year, the Bunny Ears website also hosted a competition that promised to lock one lucky Home Alone fan into Macaulay and Brenda's actual home for the holidays. All you had to do was nominate one seven-year-old to be stolen from their home and placed all alone in Macaulay's place. From there, Macaulay had promised to set traps and wage a one-man war on the child at his very own expense. Hey, when you're good at something, you tend to know it, and Macaulay, well, he's definitely good at home defense. He's also good at crafting a joke, which is obviously what this entire thing is. But speaking of Christmas, since it is the season, how about we take a look at the former McAllister home next? First built in 1920, there are a few movie residences as iconic as McAllister Place from Home Alone. I mean, after all, how many other family homes can you buy your very own Lego edition of? Located on Lincoln Avenue in Winnetka, Illinois, this red brick Georgian style abode sits on a half acre lot and features about 4,200 square feet of space. 
All in all, the house features five bedrooms, including a four-room master suite, which spans the entire west wing, as well as three and a half baths. At the time of the movie's production, the home was owned by John and Cynthia Abenshin. The couple hadn't owned the place for very long when director Christopher Columbus came calling, asking to utilize their home for a large portion of the production. Columbus described what attracted him to this location with the following. We needed to cast a house that would work for the stunts and also a house that was visually appealing and, if this makes sense, warm and menacing at the same time. It's the kind of house if you were a kid, it would be fun to be left home alone. I wanted it to feel timeless. While the general rule of Hollywood productions is that existing homes are only really used for exterior shots, that wasn't really the case with Home Alone. Quite a few of the film's most memorable scenes were filmed inside of the actual house over the span of five month period and showed off nearly everything the home offered. There's the kitchen where the McAllisters put together one final memorable family meal. And that basement where Kevin not only learns to face his fears, but sits a large portion of his traps. Even the upstairs attic where Kevin is forced to isolate himself from the rest of the family after taking them all off was filmed on location inside the home. Then there's the main staircase which is arguably almost as famous as the front of the house. Outside of those locations, any other scene that set inside of the home was actually filmed on a soundstage that was constructed in the gymnasium of the nearby New Trier Township High School. Of course, time changes a whole lot of things and that includes a home as iconic as this one. Today, the Home Alone house looks a bit different but the exterior is still as recognizable as ever. Inside, however, the current owners have decided to heavily renovate. Not only does this iconic staircase now have a completely different color palette, but the walls have been repainted in chic neutral tones, while the kitchen has been upgraded with crisp white cupboards. Wondering how much this beauty costs in today's market? Well, back in 2012, the home was sold for $1.5 million. Today, the property is estimated to be worth closer to $2 million, but it hasn't been listed since its former sale last decade. Of course, when you're talking about a house as legendary as this one, more than a little bit of that sum total has to be markup due to fame. And this home has left a definite mark on so many people's memories. All right, so I think that wraps up our latest Macaulay Culkin house tour. It's been a lot of fun walking down memory lane and showing you guys this place once again. We got a bit of an idea of what Macaulay and Brenda's family home looks like, and while the LA crib might not be as famous and festive as the McAllister abode, it does seem like a happy one. Thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button and be sure to follow me over on Instagram to chat. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.